I found these red plants. I don't know what these things are. Ooh! Okay, that was a very nice. These things actually... I'm going to turn off our light, and I'm going to go ahead and unpack this bad boy. This thing, I love this thing. Okay, so... is going on gaming nerds welcome back to midnight gaming with mystic nightmare thanks for coming to the channel and hanging out hopefully you guys are having an amazing day i'm having an amazing day it is midnight and yet again we are back on astroneer love this game absolutely super excited about it out grabbing resin and what i've done so far is i've mapped out a lot of the areas where i'm going to be getting a lot of my compound and a lot of my resin and all of the base materials as you can see we're quite a ways away from the base i wanted to show you guys a little bit of a trick too a lot of people look at these things and they say oh research notes and they use them they use them and they use them and then they leave but every now and then and i don't know if this one will do it but every now and then you can dig down underneath these and look at that you can get a gigantic freaking plant research node thing whatever it is going to be also i think i've kind of I, I needed to make a mine basically uh so i could mine some dirt because one of the machines that we're going to be looking at today which is one of the, which i might as well just show you right now is is it in two is it in c b v G, here down no it's one of it's what is that machine i can't remember what it's called maybe it's in this one right here yeah the soil centrifuge now the soil centrifuge is really really nice because you can take soil make sure you have a canister take soil and put it into the centrifuge and you can make your basic crafting items now this used to be a real cheaty machine to be honest with you because you could actually make anything in the game but they've taken that away you can make the very basics um, of materials that you need but you can't make everything so it forces you to go to other planets to get those materials like those planets up there to get those materials um, which is actually really cool so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this my mine over here and this is where I'm just gonna come over and grab a bunch of soil when we need to make a bunch of stuff by the way guys if you didn't know if you have if you have a work light on your backpack you can press C I think it is it's not working now. Why isn't it working now? Usually you can press C and V to turn it on and off. I don't understand why it's not working now. Okay, there we go. See? Um, so yeah, that, that'll help out a lot. You, instead of having to go in your backpack, you just press C. You don't have to press V. I press V and for some reason it drops a tether and I don't know why. But as you can see, I've got... Just pick up the stupid thing. Um, I've got kind of compound over there i i was just in an area that had um resin and stuff like that and then um i've grabbed a bunch of compound from here and i've taken it all back to the base i've mapped out i've looked at all of the the little debris areas around our base and i've gathered a few things from them already off camera just so you guys wouldn't have to see me do that uh seeing that once is really all that you need and what i need to do is we're going to go back to base we're going to throw this on the research thing and i've done a bunch of changes off camera to the base and this I highly suggest doing when you're playing this game make sure you organize your base early because these bases can get supremely supremely chaotic and they take a very very long time to basically reorganize to get nice and organized so what I've done is I have flattened out a huge massive area um, now to do this I found that the best way to do it is to go by your uh, what's it called let's go ahead and get this bad boy started here is to go by your landing pad so what you do is you pull out your machine you go right dead center and you have to do this every single time you have to do the exact center of it every single time and then you hold down the control it'll flatten it'll get to the flatten thing and then you can start pressing um, left click and it'll go ahead and it'll flatten everything out for you um, this took me about an hour and a half to get this big of an area and I wanted to make it really nice and organized so what I've done is I've made some changes first of all i've used extenders um, to kind of direct the power i'm using the middle shelter as kind of like a splitter basically and what the splitter does is it takes in power um, 
and then it kind of delegates where it's going to go. It's not that important to do it through this. You could just connect everything straight to the power if you wanted to, but this is the way I've decided to do it, and I've used the extenders to do that. On this left side, I have made another research chamber. Um, so we can get two of these research chambers going so we can get a lot of the bites out of them. And I've, I've basically separated, I've, uh, how do I put this? I've enclosed our entire base in tethers because let's face it, I don't know how many times I've been coming from out in the, in the wild and I've, I've needed just a couple of steps to get to a tether and I've died. So I've, I've kind of mapped out our entire base with tethers. I've cordon off different areas of it on this side we're going to have all the research i'll probably put like four more research nodes or, or research machines over here over here we're going to have machines and then over here we're going to have power now this is a really good way to do your machines because the fact of the matter is is a lot of people like to be really compact when they first start out in this game and in the end they don't like it because you can't get between your your platforms and stuff like that you get stuck on stuff and in the end they end up just separating everything out anyway because it makes it hard to play by doing it this way what you can do is you can we're going to put all of our machines on the outside we're going to we're going to just we're going to paste all of the machines on the outside, layer them all out there. And then on the inside where we're standing right here is we're going to where all of our storage is going to be for all of our resources to use on the machines. And it'll be wide enough where we can actually drive our vehicle in here and then take a left and drive right back out. It'll be really, really, really nice. And I've left enough space between the the. Um, uh, what are these things called the platforms to be able to walk in between them so we have nice walking area on top of that in here i have gotten i have opened up where are the platforms i have opened up different platforms we've got medium a and medium b we already had medium a i believe we've got medium b now and then i think in the third here i've opened it we had large platform a i've already opened up large platform b so i could do this type of a setup i really really like this type of a setup and let me show you why so we're gonna go here we're gonna go into nope i've also made a small printer if you don't know how to make that it's in your backpack just go down here and there it is right there small printer it takes compounds super easy to make we're going to go in here. We're going to go medium storage. You have medium storage opened at the start of the game, so you don't need to worry about using bytes on that. We're going to take and we're going to make a whole bunch of medium storage, and we're going to put them on the sides of these large platform bees because I really like them because they act like auto feeders into your machines. And then when your machine's done, it'll spit it out onto your medium plat or your medium storage. And then once it spits it out, you can just move around your medium storage. You can pick it up and you can move it into different areas if you want to craft other things. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to put medium storage on all of these large platforms. The power is going to be over here. This whole section is going to be just filled with power. Now, I told you guys I went out and looked at some of the debris fields. I found two small wind turbines. Super excited about that. They help out a lot. Um, and I believe we actually need to open up wind turbines now that I think about it. Where are they? Right here, here, here. We need to open them up. They're only 500 bytes. Let's go ahead and open them up so we can make those. Um, I also found another medium solar panel and I've made a large platform to put them on it. And then I've connected all of our just basic found out in the wilderness um, platforms all over here. And I'm just going to start throwing down all of our power. Anything that has to do with power, we're going to throw it out here. We're going to fill this whole area up with with power stuff. Then I'm going to cordon this off with tethers. And over here, I've made three holes. One for resin, one for compound, and one for organics. Um, and they're going to hold stuff until we can get enough storage to be able to, you know, to have the storage hold all of that stuff. So I'm pretty excited about it. We need to start getting into extra stuff, though. To start off with, I want to get into the boost mod. Now, the boost mod is nice because we're going to be going caving probably today to find the materials we need to make some of our more our medium game stuff i guess so we're going to do the boost mod which is only a few hundred oh i got the hiccups uh, a few hundred bytes and the boost mod is really nice because when you make that it increases how fast you dig wide mod we're going to make that that's only 800 bytes because that it expands this circle reticle to make it so you're 
you know you're harvesting a lot more at at one time now can we make that stuff over here small printer tether oxygen work light small generator where's the boost mod boost mod okay so the boost mod is zinc and then the wide mod is zinc so we do need to definitely go caving and when i i've got this resin on me here i'm going to do another medium storage real quick here so we're going to have to go caving now i found that there's two really good ways of finding like zinc and uh what was some of the other ones um laterite malachite zinc uh what was it zinc copper yeah all that stuff there's two ways one you can go caving which by the way i've made a whole bunch of tethers i should probably grab let's just throw you right now let's take you over here um i should probably grab some more compound just in case we need it so we can make more tethers. Um, so anyway, one is caving and the other way is basically just digging a hole until you get to a cave. The deeper you go, the better the stuff you're gonna find, plain and simple. Uh, so we need to do that. Now, what did we need for, let's see, is it three? Go down here. We need to get into the large storage too, eventually. So, okay, so we need, need aluminum. That's the main thing we need to find. And then we've already got the compound. I've already made the platform for the centrifuge. We're going to go ahead and throw that right there. And I believe I found a cave somewhere that I completely can't remember. I think I was digging over here. Yeah, it's over here. I was digging over here and I ended up just running into a freaking cave. So I made... I made a way down and I stopped right here because I wanted to bring you guys in here because I, I saw this stuff over here and I thought, what is this? This is nice. What is this? And I don't even know what it is. I think you can go like, whoops, no, not here and then, okay, so there's our aluminum. That's what we need aluminum for. Now you see why we need the boost mod? This is super, super slow digging. We've obviously got a little bit of stuff over here. Laterite. Okay, so that's laterite. That is what that is, right? Aluminum. Okay. Now, I, the other thing that we can also get into is clay and ceramics because we're going to need to start making like large storage and stuff like that. And that's made from ceramic um, and clay and stuff like that. So we've got a couple out. All right. Can we just get one more? Okay. So what I need to do is I need to put a tether. I want to put a tether down over here to point me to that. Now, you can actually get research stuff down here. Usually I find the deeper you go, the more research bites you get from doing that, which is totally awesome. I want to go over this way because I believe there might be these blue crystals over here. Is that also laterite? It looks like it is. Yeah, I think that's laterite too. Okay, so that's the stuff. Look at all the laterite we found down here. That is amazing how much crap is down here. Uh, let's see. Now, I see something out of the corner of my eye, and I want to go check it out. Oh, we got a whole bunch, bunch of resin down here, which is awesome. Okay, these are new. Well, they're not really new, I shouldn't say. But the cool thing about these is you can actually get research nodes out of these. And if it has a power thing up here, you need to bring down a Jenny and hook a Jenny up to it. And then you can open it up. Sometimes it'll take like a certain material, like it may take laterite or something like that. Um, but I see something over here. I don't know what this stuff is. They've changed all of the shapes look there's a whole bunch of compound we've got over here now that's awesome but they've changed all of the shapes of everything and i don't know what these crystals are over here what is it laterite laterite what is this stuff it's really cool looking it's really pretty i like the way it looks oh it's quartz okay so i've been thinking how are we gonna make um the wind turbines. The wind turbines are actually made from glass, and I was like, "Well, where do you get glass? That's a new, you know, a new, um, a new material that I didn't know was in the game." Oh, I'm spitting stuff out of my bum. Crap! I'm gonna have to just leave them here. We got a whole bunch of quartz on us now, but I found by doing a little bit of reading, a little bit of research, to make glass, you just need quartz. So now we've got some quartz. We can make glass. Now we can make a whole bunch of wind turbines, which will be totally awesome. And I think. Let's see, wide mod, small mod, printer, tether, oxygen. Okay, small wind turbine is glass. And then what was the regular? Where is it? 
Okay, so this is this is copper. Okay, so we don't have copper yet. We need to find copper. I'm not exactly sure if we can find any down here, but as you can see, we found a cave that has a ton. I mean, a ton of extra materials. What is that over there? I gotta go look at this. What is over here? This is oh, okay. So that looks like it's just. Ooh, and what's down there? We got stuff down there too. Is that just? It looked like um, ammonium for a second. Okay, it's not. Okay, it looks like we got a whole bunch of research node thing down here. We need to grab some of those. Is that quartz up there too? Okay, so that's quartz right there. I really need to map all of this out in my mind so we can truly figure out, you know, if we can get everything down here. I'm, I want to go down here. We need to find out what's... <gasps> whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, okay, so I want to find what that those glowing things are down there. Okay, so here we're going to do a flatten. We're going to dig down. Keep going. Keep going. If this is what I think it is, this may be copper down here. And if it is, I'm going to be super stoked, which means we've got all of the base materials we need to build like the boost mod and all of that other good stuff. Which should be super cool. Okay. That is a whole bunch of freaking compound. But I saw something over here. No, I need another tether. Please be copper. Please be copper. I think that's copper. Oh, no. I think you're a bad guy, aren't you? Yep, you're one of those gas dudes. You're dead. Achievement! Up by the roots. Okay. Oh, and this this goes even deeper. Okay, so that looks like copper. So what you can do is you see that symbol? And you can go over here, and then you go here. Here. Resources. And the symbol was this, which is sulfurite. But it doesn't tell you, like, if it's copper... Carbon, ceramic, copper. Okay, so copper has a different... But I bet you it starts off like this. So I bet you that's what that is. I, You know what? I gotta, I gotta know for sure. Let's pick it up. See if we can get enough to get one. We'll probably drop it. Okay, self... Is that... Okay, that's just debris. Where did it go? Did it fall through the ground? I think it fell through the ground. Oh, that's... that's ass. No, that's really messed up. Okay, that's zinc. That's not copper. Aluminum, that's zinc. Okay. All right, so we know what we've got down here so far. Hopefully I can find some copper around here somewhere. If not, I'm, I don't know if I can make it in the centrifuge or not. Let's go back up to base. Let's start making some stuff. I see you. You guys see that right down there, that little spinning thing? There's another wind turbine on one of those debris down there. I came up here to see if everything was kind of just opposite, if there was actually stuff up here or not. And I found this black stuff up here. I think it's black. I don't know what it is. I've made a little area over here where I found some. I'm not sure exactly what this is. What is it? It's, it's graphite. It's a natural resource. I don't know what graphite is. Uh, I was up here looking to see if I could find some copper. Um, I found these red plants. I don't know what these things are. Ooh! Okay, that was very nice. These things actually... Okay, so he doesn't actually hurt. Oh, he does. Yes, he does. Okay. I wasn't sure if that was actually a reaction or what. But yep, they actually do hurt. Now, you see that? You see how slow it is up on the rocks up here, man? This really sucks. For me to actually get a full one of these, can I... Can I make you go bye-bye? Can I make you go bye-bye? Ooh, I can't... What, what was that? I just... Oh, I can use those as a research sample? Okay, so they're about 24. They're not really worth a lot, but that's okay. But they don't actually really hurt you too bad. I found that up here... 
30s. They're not too bad. Uh, I need some oxygen. I forgot to bring tethers uh, up through here. Tether, thank you. Tether, T, really? All my tethers are gone? Oh, it's a good thing I have another tether, tether bundle. I've also made canisters. I've got to four total canisters, one on here and three on here. I've already filled them up, so we're gonna go, we're gonna go ahead and give a give that soil thingamajigger a try. Okay, so we just got one graphite. I don't know exactly what that makes, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down. I need to hit C because I think that's gonna no here C there. Yeah, you can't have your gun out when you hit C. Okay, I'm gonna go down here. And I'm gonna get. I'm gonna. Whoa, 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 whoa. Ooh, surfing, baby. Hang 10. Ooh. I'm gonna get. Where is it? I see you. I see you. We need you. We need you in our lives right now. Thank you. Uh, I think I've actually got a tether line over here, which I'm okay with. That's why I decided to come down here. But I, I want to check. I've actually made a tether line out here as well. And I want to check way out here and see if we can find any copper, because there might be copper in the mountains, I'm not for sure. But I looked around in those caves down there for a while, and I didn't find any. I don't even know what copper looks like, and I want to get at least all of the basics of all of our, our materials found on the, I or on the island, on the, um, on the planet somewhere. What do my little eyes spy? I think that's copper up there, right next to that little wreck. I literally just turned off the recording when I just said I was going to be right back. I turned around, put a couple of, of tethers out, and I think I found copper up here. I'm thinking that looks like copper. It looks like the old copper where it used to look. Yeah, I think this is copper. This is like the last resource on this planet I think we can find. Is it copper? We have found malachite, which is copper, ladies and gentlemen. We have found the majority of the base materials on this planet, where they're at. It looks like the copper's going to be up top. The graphite's going to be up top in the mountains. And then when it comes to, like, all of the other stuff, like the zinc and aluminum, that's going to be down in your caves. So we just got a little bit of malachite. I want a couple of coppers because I think we can make... You need to make a couple things. What is there anything like in here? There's another copper right there. Is there anything in here? There's just just debris. There's nothing. Nothing. Okay, I'm gonna grab all the copper up here, and we're gonna go back to base, and then we're gonna start building a whole bunch of stuff. Whoa! 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 We're gonna build a whole bunch of stuff. Yep, just juggling some nodes, ladies and gentlemen. Easiest way I've found to get multiple nodes back, um, without a rover. I found this rock one up in the Rocky Mountains just right after I said goodbye to you guys. And we're going to go ahead and see how much, how many biddies these are worth. So 360. I think most research items are going to be around 360 unless they're like man-made. Okay, so we've got those going. Now, as you can see, I went down and got a whole bunch of stuff. I got quartz. We've got our graphite here. Uh, we've got our malachite. And I'm going to take this wind turbine. And we're going to throw it right there. All right. So now let me show you why I like these storage things so much. You put them on the storage. Or you can go like this and you can take them off. And you can go like this. So we're going to make a little bit of everything. I hope. And by the way, guys, getting that malachite out of that mountain sucked. It seriously sucked. It took forever. We really need the boost mod. See that? Now it'll just sit there and feed into the smelter, and then it'll it'll pop everything else back out here or back where to where it came from. So now what we need to do is we need to look at the smelting for no the the soil centrifuge. We actually have to open it up. We've got it open. Now we need com two compound and one aluminum. What has come out so far? Zinc? Is that aluminum? That's aluminum. Okay, and we needed how many? We said two compound, right? So we need to go make two comp makes we need to go make two compound. We're gonna go grab two compound instead. Instead of makes is it. And then I think it'll be in this one. Smelting furnace, soil centrifuge. Alright, so there's our soil centrifuge being processed now we can also make glass have we made glass yet no we have not we have done zinc 
And we have done aluminum. What else takes aluminum? Can we make more... Okay, there's another work light, another small generator. There's a small solar power, so there's copper. And then a wind turbine, which is glass. So we're going to wait until all this stuff is done, and we'll be right back. All right, ladies and gentlemen, everything has been cooked up. We've got our glass, which I want to take and right now make a small wind turbine just because we can. The next thing I want to do is we've got our zinc. We've got our copper. There's our copper. There's aluminum. Everything's cooked up. I've also created the soil centrifuge. I'm going to turn off our light and I'm going to go ahead and unpack this bad boy. This thing, I love this thing. Okay, so what we can do is we can go ahead. Let's take this off and go ahead and put that over there. A little bit more power. We can go ahead and click on this. Click on it again. Give me that back. Why didn't you just put that down over there? Usually you do. Uh, oh, it's full. Okay, so now what we can do is we can get out of this. We can hit F. And we go, see, we can make eight compound with a full canister. Then we can do resin and we can do organic. So we can actually make fuel and then we can do clay. Now clay and then we can also do quartz and we can do graphite. Oh, we can make ammonium. I didn't know you could actually still make all of this stuff. That's still quite a lot. Ammonium is actually used for jet fuel. Um, and then graphite, I still haven't found a reason for that yet. Uh, quartz and then clay. Let's make a bunch of clay so we can make ceramics. I don't know exactly what we're going to be making ceramics for except for storage, uh, which I believe is up here somewhere. But you know what we're going to do? Tractor. Yeah, open. Thank you. Uh, trailer. Yeah, open. Thank you. Because we've got the bits. We can do it. But there's also something else I was looking at that I'm very curious about. I don't know where it is. Let's see if I can find it. Where did it go? It was, it was in here. I swear it was in here. Oh, maybe it was in number three. Yeah. The buggy. 1,500 bits. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be cool. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to start making mods. So what we need for here is we need zinc. All right, let's grab some of our zinc. Let's make the boost mod. On top of that, we also want to look into making the wide mod, which I believe is also zinc. So now we can make this. Now, this thing is great because it allows you to harvest a lot faster. However, it's also very bad <laughs> because it, it makes it so... We, can we fill this up again? Okay. It also makes it so it burns through your power like water, like a fish in water or something smart and intelligent like that. Let's go ahead and take the boost mod. We're going to stick the boost mod on the top. It turns green around the base of the boost mod to let you know that it's working. We're going to take the wide mod. We're going to put that on the side. Now, as you can see, our reticle is huge because bigger is better. Right, ladies and gentlemen? That's right. Now, let's watch actually how fast we can actually fill up that one canister. Now, you ready? There's a little bit of resin in there. Look at that. Look at this. Look how fast we're going. Look at this. Okay, the canister's already full. Okay, let me see the canister. See, the canister's already full. That was completely empty. Do you see how fast that was? Look how fast we can actually dig now. It's fantastic, but it burns through your power like nothing else. It's absolutely crazy how fast it burns through your power, so you have to be careful with it. Very careful with it. Now, I'm very curious as to what actually makes the tractor. That makes the tractor, so we need two aluminum for it, and then for trailer, we need another aluminum, and we need compound. Now remember, we can't actually make aluminum with the soil centrifuge. We can make compound, but we can't make aluminum. Uh, what about, where is... Okay, is it in the medium? Yeah, there's the buggy. The buggy is one aluminum, one compound. Uh, and with the buggy... Aluminum. And then one compound. I want to make the buggy. I'm just going to do it. We might as well. I mean, why wouldn't we? It's a buggy. I'll be able to just, just go everywhere I want to go. I won't be able to actually collect anything, I don't think. Okay, there's the buggy. We are now making a bu Oh, why did I pull that up? We are Oh, this thing is so slow when I've got all the stuff. Can I unhook this and make it go faster? Nope. I wonder why that is. 
It's because we're not generating any power. It's this thing that's doing the powering. We're not generating any power whatsoever. That sucks. Um, okay, buggy is being made. Now, let's look at the buggy real quick on... Uh, can, we make, can we look at it on here? It's number three, right? Does that... Is that an oxygenator in the back? Do we need an oxygenator? And as you look right here, there's a medium rover. I didn't realize there was a medium. I thought there was just a tractor and the large. I don't know if we'll actually ever actually need to make the medium rover for some reason. Just doesn't sound like there's not really something we need. Okay, so as you can see right here, we've got clay. Now we can take the clay and put this clay over here in this in the smithy. And we can make ceramics out of it and those ceramics will be really really nice now you guys can see I've also kept a couple of the zinc out uh, the graphite I've put aside there's some more clay I'll probably leave one of these aside as well and the main reason I'm doing this is because some of those research triangles that you see will actually take these base materials to open them up so we need to keep a couple off to the side to be able to do that I probably should have kept one of the quartz but the quartz actually sm they they smelted so ridiculously fast that I was just like hmm let's just do it all because we found a lot of quartz down there yes ladies and gentlemen the buggy is done we've just got an achievement achievement called sweet new ride there is the buggy can we tether to it yes we can tether to it Oh, look at that thing. It is absolutely amazing. Uh, I think we need a seat for it. And I just remembered there was a rover over there that has an extra seat. Ha ha ha! I found a seat. The rover's seat was actually... Uh, it was just debris. But I found a seat in that old uh, shipwreck that we found uh, early... I think it was last episode? Yeah, because I've only done one episode. It looks like you can actually stick a couple of things. Can you stick, like, these on top? Oh, you can! <gasps> power! We have power. Where's our, one of our solar dilemabobs? There's one of our solar. You can actually... Oh, that is cool. Is there one on the bum? Nope. There's one on the... Is there one on the front? Nope. There's not... That is it! Oh, baby, ladies and gentlemen, we have the buggy, but unfortunately, that's all the time we have. Thanks for coming out of the channel and hanging out with me. If you liked the video, hit the like button. If you didn't, don't hit it. Just make sure no matter what you do, subscribe. Thanks for coming to the channel and hanging out. I really appreciate it. Keep game and keep doing it. Men, I have a blast. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Take care. Have a good one and bye bye.